This is the 3018 Pro CNC machine and today we are going to have a quick look at it, see how it works and if it's really worth it. Probably the cheapest CNC machine you can get, which actually works, especially for things like wood, acrylic, maybe you could try aluminium. And this is dirt cheap. This cost me $120, which is crazy. And I'm pretty impressed, to be honest. For this kind of money, uh, all the parts feel kind of nice, I have to say. When I have seen the pictures or videos, I was expecting something a bit worse than this. I mean, this is, for example, the Z-axis assembly and uh, this is uh, injection molded and it all feels like very sturdy and nicely built, to be honest. I got the version with the ER11 collet, which is great to have, in my opinion. Uh, these parts are acrylic, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, they feel pretty solid, so, I mean, for things like wood, they should be fine. The only bad thing about it is that everything is covered in chips, uh, probably from machining those aluminum extrusions so I'm just gonna need to deburr and probably get rid of the chips so I think a compressed air will do a good job here I'm now going to assemble the kit and test it out Alright, so the CNC is assembled. I didn't film it much because it's pretty straightforward. There are actually just few things I would like to note. Firstly, uh, I just deburred everything and cleaned any remaining chips. I oiled uh, the lead screws and I've added washes everywhere. There were none originally and I think they are pretty useful, especially because parts of the frame are plastic. And there was one more thing I needed to fix and that was the Y-axis. It was kind of binding and I discovered it was due to this plastic housing, which is crooked. So I've just used shim here and underneath here and tighten it down and now it works okay. All right, so it's now time to power it up and see if I did any mistakes or if it works and do some test cuts. All right, so I've got everything wired. I've connected it to my computer and I've put some plywood uh, using a double-sided tape on the table and uh, we can do a test run. I'm using Fusion 360 uh, to create a G-code and universal G-code sender to control the machine. Uh, I've downloaded some SVG file. This is an outline of a fox, for example, and I've created an engraving toolpath. So I hope this should work. I'm just going to post it using the post processor uh, the Gerbil post processor because that's what the CNC uses. And now I'm going to open the Universal G Code platform. I'm going to connect to our machine and I am going to load our G Code. And now we have to zero our machine. So I've chosen a zero position in the Fusion 360, which is in the middle of the stock. So I'm going to do the same in the machine. And what I have to do is really quite simple. I'm just going to jog the machine to this center position uh, using the control. All right, and now I'm going to do the common actions and click reset zero. So. Now, I told the machine this is our zero position and we can basically start machining. Just don't forget to use the protective equipment, glasses, because the bits can break and stuff can fly out, so protect your eyes. As 
you can see the tape works pretty good it holds it nice and secure all right so this is how it looks after sanding so all the burrs are gone so yeah it looks pretty good to be honest but those chips aren't very nice so yeah what I'm gonna do it next time I'm gonna make sure the two tool paths are not so close together so for the second test I've got a piece of oak there is my double-sided tape this is how they look engraved just of the machine as you can see there are some burrs but not very much and I have to say it looks pretty good this should be 0.4 millimeters and this is how they look send it down very very nice I'd say pretty clean engraving looks perfect I think I can now try some other materials like plastic or aluminium So I cleaned it up, uh, sanded it down a little bit and this is how it looks like. It's 0.2 millimeter deep and I have to say it looks pretty decent. I used some WD-40 as a lubrication and it turned out really well. So I'm able to engrave aluminium even now without any modifications. I just have to do it quite slow which is a pain but it works. Alright, so as you can see, the 3018 Pro CNC engraver works really well out of the box and can engrave hardwood, plywood, even aluminium if you go really slow and that's awesome. Obviously, I've done a few tiny modifications to it. Firstly, I've changed out the set screws for something a bit bigger so that I can tighten it a bit more and used some Loctite to secure it because it came loose I think two times from the vibrations which is not good obviously. Second modification I did is this wasteboard. I did put these threaded inserts in these holes so that I can just put a M6 screw in and clamp down and I did hold it uh, to the original bed using those M6 flange nuts which works really really well so I have a wasteboard now and it makes it a bit easier to you know secure the stock if I don't want to use a double-sided tape or something like that and I did tighten it down with these clamps to the table for now but I have to work out some permanent some more permanent solution so the real question is would I recommend this machine uh, and the answer is I definitely would if you just wanna start out with CNC machining and try it out and see if you like it. It's definitely capable of engraving the softer materials you throw at it and the quality is pretty good. So uh, for $120 it's really hard to beat and you can get started with, with Cam Infusion 360 and start learning about CNC machining and if you like it you can always get something a bit more capable and obviously expensive so that's it for today i'm probably gonna do another video with some more upgrades for example the x-axis is quite wobbly and would clearly benefit from an upgrade all right so that's all from me for today and uh, thank you very much for watching and i'm gonna see you next time bye